So just use F6. Don't be forever right clicking on the menu and going for run in Scratchbook. Just hit F6, okay? Once it's running, you can hit the pause break button. It's part of the group of three, just above your like insert home page up group of keys, right? Brilliant, halfway through a test, you can just hit pause. I use it all the time. Control T, add a test step. Surely you're familiar with that, right? Control, left control and T, and you can do something like T box set buffer. And you can do that, okay? So that's control T. This one is, this one is useful as well. F9, show or hide unused stuff. I'll show you what happens, right? Double click on it. Do an F9, all of a sudden you get that little arrow and you get the buffer name. Brilliant, huh? F9 again, we'll turn that off. Um, control Z, undo. All right, you can do a Control Z or you can go up here to the top left-hand corner. You've got an undo and a redo button. I'll show you what Control Z looks like. Gets rid of it. Control Y brings it back in. If I go over here, Go undo and redo. It brings it back in. Okay. Oh yeah, Control J jumps to the ob jump to object dialog box. Okay. What's behind T box set buffer? A module of. So if we do Control J, it jumps to the buffer. Okay. Now here's the really cool stuff, right? Navigate back and forward. So using the Alt key and any arrow key. That's the left arrow. That's the right arrow. You see how those arrow keys are working and moving me around now? I'm literally just going back and forth, yeah? Alt, left Alt, and then the left cursor key or the right cursor key will move you around, okay? Expand All, these ones are interesting, right? Control, plus and minus. Collapse All, Expand All. I'll show what they look like, okay? Let's go to the project tree. We look at this import. Okay, what's in this import? Let's do a control plus. It shows us everything, right? It's a bit too much, isn't it? It's showing us all the way into the green, all the way into the orange. So let's do control minus on that. Now we hold down the control key and use the right arrow key. It opens it up one at a time. Isn't that nice and neat? I use my arrow key to go down. Oh, okay. This is what I want. Then you can use control and plus on your keypad and it shows you everything. How cool is that? Then you can do page down. All right, so that's really useful. So that covers plus and minus and collapsing one level and expanding one level at a time. So that's it, basically. A really short video on how to use the must use keyboard shortcuts. Everything else makes you look like a bit of a fool or schmo. Comments below on other keyboard shortcuts that you think are essential that I forgot. All right, that's that. Let me edit this now.